Hello everyone, today I am going to make this chair in Revit. But before we start, let me remind you to like, share and subscribe my videos. Also, if you have any queries, feel free to ask and do leave a comment below. So first of all, open new uh, furniture template file of Revit. Go to front elevation, select extrusion and draw the elevation as shown in the video first of all i am going to draw the elevation of uh, the front legs of this chair Keep an extrusion of 1.5 inches. Click OK. Now again go to front elevation and mirror this towards the other side. At a distance of 1 feet 6 inches. Now place a reference plane at this point, assign a name to it, I am going to name it seat. Now go to plan, select extrusion, set the reference plane to seat and draw the seat as shown in the video. Now I am going to draw the cushion part, so again select extrusion, set the reference plane to this surface, go to plan and draw the seat as shown in the video. Make the extrusion as at 1.25 inches. Click OK. Now select void sweep, click on sketch path, set the reference plane to this surface, go to plan and draw the path as shown in the video. Click OK and then go to edit profile, go to the right view and draw the uh, profile as shown in the video click ok again click ok the cushion part is now complete Again go to front elevation and place a reference plane at this point and name it top. Select extrusion. Set the reference plane to top. And 
draw the elevation as shown draw the plan as shown in the video Make an extrusion end of 1.5 inches and click OK. You can also edit the extrusion whenever you want. I am just going to increase the width of this extrusion I have just drawn. Go to front elevation and place a reference plane at this point. Also draw the vertical reference plane so that it is easier to draw in the plan mode. Delete the previous vertical reference planes. Assign a name to this reference plane. I am just going to name it B. Now go to Pro Plan, select Extrusion, set the reference plane to B, click OK, and draw the plan as shown in the video. Make the extrusion into 1.5 inches and click OK. Now go to front elevation. Click on swept blend. Click on sketch path. Set the reference plane to this vertical plane. And draw the path as shown in the video. Now draw first profile, go to plan and draw the profile as shown in the video. Draw the profile number 2 now.
now click ok again click ok now I am just simply going to edit these extrusions I have drawn to adjust these parts so that they are all merged together Now select extrusion, set the reference plane to center, front, back, click OK and, and now I am going to draw the elevation of the back legs of this chair. Make an extrusion under 1.5 inches and click OK. Now go to 3D top view. Rotate this at 45 degree angle. And move it to its location. Before moving make sure you have selected destroy and uncheck the constraint box. Edit this elevation so that it is attached to this part. Go to the extrusion, extrusion edit and attach it towards this point as well. Go to floor plan, select this extrusion and mirror it. The seat is not attached to the leg so I am going to edit these extrusions as well.
now select join and join all these elements with each other Now select the parts one by one and assign materials to them. The chair is now complete and it looks like this. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any queries, feel free to ask. Watch my other videos as well. Do leave a comment below. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care.